Hey, hi, welcome back to Digit.in. My name is Vignesh. Now, last year, when you shopped on Amazon or Flipkart during those big festival sale times, you probably saw a couple of Lenovo laptops. And that includes the IdeaPad 330, this one, and the IdeaPad 330S with a metal lid on top of it. However, this year, when you shop on Amazon or Flipkart, you're bound to see another model on sale. And that's the IdeaPad S145. Let's see how this new laptop did in our review, shall we? Well, sadly, everyday performance of our review unit was woefully bad, but I can more than confidently chalk that up to the low RAM and sluggish hard drive inside. The laptop took well over two minutes to cold boot to the Windows desktop and be fully ready for work. The start menu took over six seconds to pop up on an average. There were constant stutters and window freezes while using everyday applications like Chrome, File Explorer and OneNote, even one application at a time. Maximizing a window would sometimes take up to five whole seconds to happen and the contents inside would get stretched and distorted in the process. Even a single YouTube video in the foreground would often stutter and stammer. In summary then, the IdeaPad S145 is an unbearably sluggish device if you use it in the same bundled 4GB and hard drive configuration as the review in it. I highly recommend you purchase a variant with 8GB RAM minimum and a solid state drive if you plan to use this laptop for everyday work. Well, what if you already bought it? If you already bought it in the same configuration as our review unit, consider upgrading the RAM to 8GB and replacing the hard drive with a SATA 3 solid state drive. A 256GB unit shouldn't cost you over 5000 rupees anyway. These two upgrades will go a long way in improving the everyday performance of this laptop. What about battery? On everyday tests, where the screen is set to 70% brightness and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are enabled, the laptop lost 42% of its full charge in roughly 2 hours. Charging from 36% to about 95 took roughly 1.5 hours. During the tests, multiple instances of Chrome, OneNote, File Explorer were open alongside WhatsApp for PC. In summary then, the battery inside the IdeaPad S145 appears to be an ideal companion for fairly long stretches of continuous operation away from the wall socket. Expect up to 3.5 hours of continuous use on this laptop. Let's move on to the display. The IdeaPad S145 features a 15.6 inch display with full HD resolution and 220 nits of maximum brightness. According to Lenovo, the screen is capable of covering 45% of an unspecified color space. In reality, however, colors on the screen appear totally washed out, leaving the white of the backlight to burn through brightly. In addition, the matte finish on the screen creates a grainy effect on the screen, thereby making the overall viewing experience even worse. Tilting the display even by a few degrees renders text on the screen unreadable. In summary, the IdeaPad S145's display isn't a great one for video-focused work, but that said, it'll do the job for all the boring spreadsheets and documents you throw at it. The IdeaPad S145 has most of its ports on the left side of its body, which should prove convenient for right-handed mouse users. On the left, there's a proprietary round pin power port for charging, a full-size HDMI port, a USB-A 2.0 port, a couple of USB-A 3.1 ports as well. On the right side, all we see are a full-size SD card reader and a 3.5mm audio jack for headsets. Understandably, the laptop skips the USB-C port and fingerprint scanner. Let's move on to the keyboard. The IdeaPad S145's keyboard is not particularly comfortable, but it's not particularly uncomfortable either. The entire keyboard island and individual keycaps are mildly convex in shape and they bulge upwards right at the center. This is the exact opposite of what laptop manufacturers usually do to offer a more comfortable typing experience. On the plus side though, the numpad section includes dedicated keys for media playback. If anything, I wish the keys were backlit, but that's too much to ask for a laptop from this price range. Because it's not a Windows 10 recognized precision unit, the touchpad is sluggish and uneven in tracking the movement of the pointer across the screen. The acceleration of the pointer too varies with the direction of the fingertip movement, making for an unpleasant touchpad experience overall. Surprisingly, the click buttons under the touchpad's plain plastic surface have great feel. All things considered, you're better off getting yourself a mouse along with the laptop. Okay then, let's move on to the build and design. The IdeaPad S145 uses plastic in its construction in a manner that's similar to last year's IdeaPad 330. The laptop's top cover and keyboard island have a glossy plasticky finish 
with a mild brush design in plain silver. Not only does this lend the device a toyish look, but also makes it less grippy in the user's hands, especially while taking it out of a backpack in a hurry. Luckily, the keycaps, screen bezels and other elements use a darker shade for some added contrast. Opening and closing the lid from one side reveals quite a bit of flex on the lid surface. The same is observed on the keyboard island when the keys are pressed down hard. On the plus side, however, the laptop's lid opens out to a maximum of 180 degrees. What's more, the laptop's power brick is now integrated with the wall plug, making the entire charging kit more portable and appealing. All things considered, the IdeaPad S145 looks and feels decent for a laptop of its price range, although a matte finish all around would have been better appreciated for reasons of grip and overall appearance. Well then, all things considered, I think the new Lenovo IdeaPad S145 is not a bad choice by any means. Now, if you're buying this laptop, you have to and have to get it with at least 8GB RAM and a solid state drive if you want to use it for everyday work. That said, if you have the patience of a monk, you must be okay with 4GB RAM and a 1TB hard drive. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Ta-ta! For the latest technology updates, subscribe to digit.in and don't forget to hit the bell icon.